Hi there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Anjali and that is my dog Sadie. And together we are roaming the UK in our 1992 camper van, Jezebel. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Huzzah, I'm back. Did you miss me? Um, I'm very sorry about last week's video. Uh, yeah, I just didn't have anything to put out. And uh, with the rain and the fact that Jezebel has uh, been having issues with her battery, uh, sometimes it's just completely flat for no reason at all. Uh, she's now got a new battery, uh, as you can see, and we are out in the sunshine. Uh, so yeah, I'm back, huzzah. The first video I've missed in over a year of making these now, so I'm a little sad that I've done that, but also, yeah, I just, you know, sometimes life happens and you, you can't make content. I'm not gonna put out something just for the sake of putting out something. So I hope you forgive me and uh, yeah, welcome back. Welcome to the channel, huzzah. As you can see, I'm out in uh, lovely sunshine uh, because for this bank holiday weekend, I have decided to go to uh, a little campsite in Canuck Chase. Uh, this campsite is called Takaroo and uh, it's one that I've been wanting to go to since uh, I visited Canuck Chase last year. Um, for those of you that have been watching since the beginning, you may remember that Sadie and I came to Canuck Chase and I hadn't done any hiking before, I hadn't I hadn't read a map in many many years and I got super lost and just completely failed at orienteering and uh, that was sort of my wake-up call to actually learn more about how to use a paper map, how to plan routes, um, exactly what I'm doing and I've been meaning to come back to Canuck Chase Forest and I've wanted to come to this campsite since then as well because on the way out I saw that they had a, a campsite um, which I wasn't aware of at the time and actually had I known then I would have stayed over um, rather than going back home same day but uh, yeah we're here so uh, today's video is going to be um, sort of a, a walk around the campsite a review of the campsite a bit of just hanging out in Jezebel and uh, so a little short walk with Sadie so I'm staying here tonight so today is Saturday I am staying over tonight and then uh, I've paid extra to stay till six o'clock tomorrow, meaning that I can have a whole day to do hiking and, and wandering around and stuff without feeling any sort of pressure to have to leave early. So the campsite itself was 15 pounds for the night, which is pretty cool. It's a wild with consent campsite. And what that means is uh, that it's pretty wild. You know, there are no set places to park. You park in the trees where you want there's no toilets and showers and things so you have to have uh, a toilet on your vehicle or in your cat tent that you come with but um, other than that it's pretty wild it's in the middle of the forest and yeah it's quite nice and peaceful they expect everyone to be quiet like after nine o'clock and yeah I'm looking forward to it it's going to be really really lovely so as I said one night stays 15 pounds. I paid an extra five pounds so that I could stay late because normally you check in at one and you check out at 11 because I want to go on a nice hike and I don't want to have to be like stressed and rushed in the morning and go out super early in order to get my hike in and be ready to leave at 11. I paid the extra fiver so I can stay until 6 p.m. And uh, so yeah, I can get up, have a lazy morning, plan my route and then go out with Sadie for a nice walk, come back, have something to eat before I leave and drive back to the house, um, which I think work out really, really well. So yeah, all in all, uh, it cost me 20 quid. Oh, and two pound for Sadie. So two, you have to pay two pound for dogs. Um, but yeah, so I paid yeah, 22 pounds uh, for the weekend stay, um, which I don't mind. I think, you know, 15 pound for a night is fine. If it's a nice place, um, yeah, and I don't mind that it doesn't have showers and things because I'm only staying here for a night. I think, you know, these type of places are designed to spend just a couple of days if you're, you know, on your way to somewhere else. And it's a lovely setting. So I'm really excited to uh, to, to, to stay here tonight and to, 
to show you around the campsite. I'm trying to get Sadie out of the van at the moment. She is adamant that she's not coming out, even though the sun is shining and it's quite lovely. So I'm going to sort some stuff out in the van, get Sadie out, and then I'll take you on a tour of the campsite. Okay, so I was going to do a uh, tour of the campsite first. Sadie has had other plans and she's uh, doing a tour of the forest instead. So we're going for uh, just a little walk, just so she can burn off some of her nervous energy. Uh, just for sort of a loop around the campsite, I think, uh, before I pull out the OS map and work out some actual routes for tomorrow. But uh, oh, it's so quiet and the weather is so nice. As well as doing a review of the uh, campsite that I'm at, I'm also testing out some new equipment that I've got for filming. Uh, you may have seen in the last video, I was using the new X3 that I just got. I'm still trying to work out how to use it best. Um, so yeah, this, this whole weekend is going to be me sort of testing out and doing weird and crazy things with it to see what works and you know what's fun to do and the stuff. Currently, uh, Sadie, has got my uh, Insta360 GO 3 attached to a harness. Uh, <laughs> I, I will be interested to watch the uh, the footage. I had it on her chest, but then because she's got such a little head, all, I thought well, all you're going to see is a furry neck. So I put it on the back and then I might move it to the side and uh, yeah, see if there's actually any footage at all. Um, that's any good. I mean, I'll probably show it to you anyway, uh, <laughs> regardless of how good it is. Uh, but. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy Sadie Cam. So you can probably see behind me, it's busy. There's lots and lots of uh, motones and camper vans here at the moment. Uh, the warden said it's the busiest they've been uh, ever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, lots of people turning up for the bank holiday weekend and the promise of nice weather. So I've just been chatting with another one of the wardens. Uh, he says that the campsite for this weekend is completely full. So they have 70 spaces and today and tomorrow they have 70 people uh, on site, uh, which is lucky. I, you know, I only booked at the beginning of last week. So uh, I'm very lucky to have got a space. Um, but yeah, it's definitely quite busy, but it has quietened down a bit, which is nice. Um, there was lots of kids running around earlier but now that the sun's sort of going behind the trees a bit it's a bit cooler so uh, yeah people are sort of 
more inside areas um, that have them. I'm still sitting outside trying to <laughs> enjoy nature. Um, but I'm going to cook some dinner soon because I'm hungry. Um, I haven't eaten since breakfast, so I'm going to cook some uh, delicious chili con carne with some rice, make some dinner for Sadie, and then, yeah, have a look at possible places to walk around here. I don't think there's going to be much of, like, actually on the OS map, like, things to see, so I might just keep going just like wander tomorrow and see where we get to and what we see um staying away from sort of the main roads uh, sort of run around that's that side that i can see off the campsite um but sort of further that way goes into the forest so that's the area we're probably going to aim for tomorrow but i will check out the maps um and try and make a bit of a decision on on where we're going but yeah it's still really lovely like the weather is really uh, nice and yeah it's a bit chillier now as you see i've got a fleece on but um the sun is still out so it's very nice there wasn't really much of a tour to give as well so i apologize for that it's uh you know it's, it's a very basic you know wild with consent campsite so i didn't i didn't want to just be filming people who are here relaxing but there are several water points so you can fill up with water um should you need it and there are also uh, places to uh, let your toilets out um, but nowhere to actually go to the, so you have to bring your toilet with you uh, but yeah there's places to empty it should you be staying you know longer than a day um, and there's places for your bins and things so there's you know enough amenities to keep the place nice and uh, to just enjoy uh, some time in the trees um yeah it's it's very nice here very quiet and very lovely so far but yeah i'm gonna make some dinner i'm gonna cook outside um we're not allowed campfires and you're not allowed like open flames and things here obviously because it is a forest and it is regulated by the forestry commission and um, and there are rules you can't have barbecues and open flames but luckily i have uh electric power so I'm gonna turn my induction hob on and uh, cook myself something to eat and then uh, sit down on my mat and enjoy some dinner. Good morning everyone. Well, so we had my first night's sleep in my new bed and today is the first time I've woken up in Jezebel and not had a backache and leg cramps. So uh, success. It was really, really comfortable. Um, so I'm very, very happy uh, with my new bed layout and being able to wake up and not be in pain. Uh, so yay! I have woken up and it's very sunny here but obviously because we're in the middle of nature my hay fever has uh, started up with a vengeance um, and I don't think I brought any uh, meds with me so that's no fun uh, so I'm a bit bunged up <laughs> uh, hay fever I forgot that that's a thing when you start camping in the spring in the summer uh, in the winter not a problem but yeah waking up in the middle of a woods when you have a tree pollen hay fever is a uh, yeah, not fun, <laughs> but 
we're up we've had a good sleep it looks like it's going to be a really nice day again today and uh, I'm gonna make some coffee get dressed and then uh, yeah go out for our walk <laughs> So we're up and we're dressed and we're um, yeah gonna head out soon I guess. I just want to say hello to Nicola as well who's just uh, spent the last couple of hours with me here. She came and visited. Uh, it was really nice to meet you and to uh, yeah just chat and uh, find out about you and yeah talk about the van and van life in general. Uh, thanks very much for coming along. It was lovely to see you. Yes, it is almost time to go home. So it is half past three. So I sort of planned, I can be here till six, but I plan to be here till about four-ish. Uh, the sun's sort of gone in now. It's got a bit cloudy. So it's sort of the perfect time to go. I've just made myself a hot drink. So I'm gonna have that first, pack everything away and then make my way back home. Um, to, this afternoon's hike uh, was a short one. It was quite warm actually when we went uh, out for the hike, um, like, midday sun heat and Sadie was not a fan of it she kept potato in the whole way so it was quite a arduous walk we'd walk for a little bit and then she'd just stop and just didn't want to go anywhere and then we'd carry on again and she just didn't want to go anywhere she sat in a few puddles and uh, that was that was really her day done so she wanted to go back to the van and kept sort of pulling back towards the way that we'd come so turned around and came back to the campsite so not not the most interesting of walks uh, but I did get some video so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, as we wandered aimlessly through the, the forest um, yeah but it's been a really nice day so um, my eyes probably look really puffy my hay fever like has just come back again it's obviously first thing in the morning and then in the evening as the uh, uh, sun sort of goes behind the clouds the tree pollen is trying to kill me <laughs> like my throat hurts my nose spunked up and my eyes feel very puffy so apologies if you're looking at this and thinking oh my god what's wrong with Angelie hay fever is what's wrong with Angelie she is slowly dying 
of trees um, but yeah it's been a really nice uh, little getaway actually it's really peaceful and quiet here lots of lovely puppies and lots of lovely people around and yeah I've just had a really nice relaxing couple of days sort of away from uh, technology which is one of the main reasons I like to get out in the van actually is that I don't have to I don't have the computer I don't have TVs and things normally with me so it's just nice to chill and read a book and then uh, go to bed super early and, and be lazy um, no judgments uh, but yes it's yeah it's been very very nice highly recommend Takaru uh, if you are looking for somewhere to camp up in a almost wild but not completely wild uh, place Takaru is definitely a lovely place to be 15 pound a night though I think like peak times it can be 20 pounds a night and then it's an extra fiver to stay a little bit longer uh, there's wardens here all the time who uh, come along and check on you make sure you're okay and yeah it's been very lovely so yeah we'll be hitting the road very soon and uh, I can go home and actually put get some uh, hay fever tablets which will be very nice because I forgot to bring them with me um, but yeah thank you very much for watching uh, as always please do like comment and subscribe to the channel and I will see you uh, on the trail bye for now bye mm -hmm. Thank you.